I wanted to look like a mushroom and I think that they really achieved that look. Vlogmas day 22. Megan, have you been crying today? Yes. How can you guys tell? Is it because my face looks like garbage? Guys, here's the thing. Is you asked me to film 25 days in a row. How can I not cry at least one of those days? That's a long streak to go without crying. <laughs> Let me break it down for you real quick. For starters, I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. Do I give myself bangs? Please, please comment if I should cut my own bangs tomorrow or we should keep living this no bang life, which I look like Hermione from like the first movie right now. So here's the deal. I cry sometimes because I'm a human being. I know it might come as a shock to you, but I am not a robot. I'm not an anime character. I'm also not a helium balloon. I'm actually a person and sometimes you just have to cry, okay? I don't like showing this side of me. I don't think I've ever cried on camera except for maybe when I was watching those really cringy musicallys. But I thought about just like painting my face with makeup and pretending like I'm chill and stuff, but like some days are, aren't the best. And so I just like being real with you guys. And especially if I'm filming 25 vlogs in a row, you guys deserve to know that like, I don't have 25 perfect days in a row. Some days are just gonna be garbage days. And that's just, that's just life. Like I said, I'm just still trying to figure this whole life thing out, you know? I'm gonna be fine. I don't want you guys to like feel bad for me or anything like that. It's nothing major. It's just like, I feel like I'm PMSing even though I'm not uh, bleeding, you know? I don't know, anyways, my whole point is just know if you guys have bad days sometimes, it literally happens to everybody. And sometimes you just need to cry it out. That's okay, it's okay to cry it out. You just, you gotta do that sometimes. Oh, there's so many lights out. All right, not gonna talk about garbage the whole time though. Today, I wanted to show you guys some funny old pictures of me from when I was little. And it's not gonna be in any particular order, but we're just gonna start with this one. <laughs> oh my god. So, here is a picture of me and my dad. Um, if you're wondering why most of my life I had really long bangs, it's because when I was little, my mom let the hairdresser do this to me, and uh, it was traumatic. I was probably in second grade in that picture. Looking real fly. This is my brother and I. We went to that, that scary movie convention thing that I was talking about recently. That was like the actual uh, bear claw, reverse bear claw trap from Saw. Felt cool. Uh, this is a picture of me underneath an 18 wheeler. Normal high school stuff. This is a picture from when I was probably in seventh or eighth grade. Uh, so before I ever had my teeth whitened. So as you can see, they are quite yellow. And also there's Paris and our dog Mac. Oh, you guys are gonna like this one. This is a picture from my first school dance ever. I was in sixth grade. It's when I loved shopping at Limited 2. Uh, I also really liked accessories and being very matchy-matchy, apparently. Boy! <laughs> so yeah, that's when I was like 12, uh, I would say. Probably 11 or 12. And let's just like compare. Let's put a picture of a 12-year-old today next to this. You know, back when I was 12, we didn't have Instagram uh, <laughs> to teach us how to do makeup and uh, to dress. Hi Paris, you look so good. But also, I'm very thankful that when I was 12, Instagram didn't exist. Because Cause I could live a life wearing my cheesy limited two clothes and feel really good about it. Here's a picture of the whole family. I was holding a my American Girl doll, Kirsten, Kirsten, Kristen, I don't know, one of those names. I still have her. Also, here's some proof that I always loved camo. This was like in the Bahamas or something. I'm wearing camo shorts and playing with a naked Barbie. Heck yeah. I think I was, I was probably in sixth or maybe seventh grade there. If you're in seventh grade and like think it's not cool to play with Barbies, Look how cool I turned out. <laughs> I think people give up their toys like too early. Like, I'm sure now it's even way, way worse. People 
like girls in seventh grade probably think that Barbies are for like two year olds, but like you're a kid still. Like have fun being a kid. It is not more fun being older. This is a picture of my brother and I from 1993. We were so stylish. Okay, this one's actually pretty cute. This was me on the beach. I don't know. I guess I was trying to make a funny face or something. Look at those chubby arms. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I had a cute face. I was like very cute at one point in life. Look at that. Look at those chubby cheeks. Here's a picture of Donald Duck smothering me. Ooh! This I think was in eighth grade. This guy sent me a bunch of Converse and I was like so happy. Look at those bangs, you guys. Here's a picture of me and my family and, an, and a random kid <laughs> at the Coca-Cola Museum here in Atlanta. Um, this is my stuffed animal Mutsi that I was talking about that I got when I was four and he used to go everywhere with me. Here's a picture of my cousin and I. Uh, again, I was wearing camo. I think I was in sixth grade here. This is a picture of me and my amazing Aunt Joyce. She's like the smartest, coolest, most athletic lady ever. And she came to one of my soccer games. I think I was in sixth grade again there. Here's another time. I think we're at a flower convention. Uh, and as you can see, I brought Mutsi with me as usual. Oh God, this is bad. Okay, pretty sure this is also sixth grade. This is just like a feast of bad sixth grade pictures here. This is my soccer picture. Look at them bangs, yo. They were really covering the five head and more. I've always loved snakes. I've posted snake pictures on my Instagram. This is me when I was uh, probably seven years old uh, with a snake and I was, I was really happy. Here is me when I probably had my best haircut ever. Um, I wanted to look like a mushroom, and I think that they really achieved that look. This was me when I was a colonial woman, uh, churning butter. Here's a picture of me and Dexter. Way before I ever knew I'd be making weird Dexter impersonation beatbox vines with fits. <laughs> this fits are really important. Get out, get out of my laboratory. Here's me, I know that the apron says Kevin and I look like a boy with a haircut, but that's actually me. Here's more of that haircut where I was looking slightly more like a girl since I'm wearing a dress here. Here is a picture of me and all my girl cousins that are like closest in age to me. Probably our, our worst phase for all of us. This was not a good look. This is what we all look like now. Well, I don't look like that right now, clearly. Better than this at least. This was me in fifth grade. That was my friend Kandazi. As you can see, I, I wore my hair in space buns even back then. This was me and my mom at a Star Trek restaurant in Las Vegas. This was me at my first Green Day concert ever in 2005 and I was pretty excited <laughs> to be there. This was me and all my friends wearing camo. Unfortunately, they all went shopping to get matching camo outfits without me, so. Still kind of hurts. Oh, and here's another picture of me with Mutsi. Not kidding you guys, I, I brought him everywhere. Even even to the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Dainty little angel. I think I was in kindergarten here. That was my favorite dress ever. I loved it, it had a puppy on it. And these were my favorite pajamas ever. They were Tigger pajamas and I thought they were so cool. Look at those rosy cheeks. This was my first Holy Communion. My bangs were popping then. I think I was in first grade, second grade, I don't know. Um, but I didn't look excited about it. I probably had to wake up early that day. <sighs> you guys, here's a bikini picture. I'm looking pretty fabulous in it. Boom, look at that belly and look at that sunburn. <laughs> this was Christmas, probably 2006 or something again. Great bangs. Oh, this is when I was still cute. I think it was my brother's birthday party or something. I look like I was about to do something really evil, but in a cute way. This is me going fishing. Here's me and my dad. I think I was dressed as Steve Irwin as usual. Oh, I think this was my school picture in sixth grade, maybe. Oh yeah. And last but not least, this was me in 1992, so when this was taken, I probably wasn't even a year old yet. And <laughs> my mom's gonna be a little embarrassed with this one. Her hair does not look like this anymore. <laughs> but here we go. Look at this family photo. 
If that is not a 90s family photo, I don't know what is. All right, well, that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tolerating me. I'm sorry that I was poopy butt today, but uh, sometimes that just happens, okay? So please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. There's only a couple of days of Vlogmas left, and I uh, will make them better than this, okay? Hey, little bye!